Welcome to this extension tutorial about the scrolling road. Now, on this one, the road uh, is going from up to down, meaning that the vehicle just goes towards the up position when accelerating. Now, I would like to go through the program stage by stage here. So, just going to just uncouple the program here. Right. The Go back 9,999 layers. It's a bit extreme, but basically it is the very bottom of all the layers that are possible in Scratch, which means that nothing will be underneath the road. So that's just the explanation of this a little bit. We then have a variable called road scroll. We set it to zero. We're going to be using this variable to set the picture, the sprite, in various places along the canvas here. Now, we then go to the forever bit, and we're going to just remove a couple of things here first. So, just this bit here moves this sprite that looks like the road. So you start in a position zero, road scroll. Now road scroll is zero, therefore the first position of this sprite is x0, zero, y0. Zero. Stamp means that there's a copy of that sprite in that position being made, and then we ask this sprite to move to x zero and then road scroll plus 360 so that would be the position of zero 360 we make another stamp after that we change the road scroll by minus 10 which will then turn road scroll which was zero to minus 10 and it goes back up so now the next position is 0 minus 10 stamp 0 350 so minus 10 plus 360 is 350 stamp and then minus 10 so now road school is minus 20 it carries on down until it gets to the point that is 360 minus 360 which would be zero it keeps going be becoming more negative and more negative it eventually it disappears and that's why this bit is here and we put it right there to say if root scroll is less the minus 360 we add 360 which brings it back to zero and so the road continually scrolls but otherwise when it's beyond three minus 360 that it actually disappears from the screen so let's have a look at this particular program in that particular way so glue that we just put it here for the moment Okay, let's play it. Now, eventually, you see, it just disappears. So, we're going to start the program there. And we're going to add the clear, which obviously then clears all these little lines and restarts the animation. There. Let's try again. There you are. You can see the little counter here. It goes all the way down to minus 360 and then goes back to zero and start again. So that continually scrolls the road. Which means that we could add a little car. Just let's just make a little red car here. Like that. There you are. And if I wanted to, for example, be able to control this car left and right I guess to avoid obstacles we could actually just not use that 
So when left arrow, when that happens, we go change x on minus 10 and when right arrow we move the x by 10 now that would make our car move so that's one way to do it uh, in events as well uh, you have obviously the press uh, but you could have other ways to do it as well like in sensing where you have uh, the key pressed as well that can also happen as you have seen before in another tutorial so that's the start of a great adventure on the road